What's up? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I see you admiring this here deck truck. Don't worry, we're gonna be painting this, not in this episode. Today we were working on a little red line van. I grabbed this off of Kijiji from a gentleman who sold me a couple red lines. And this thing's pretty cool. I like how it's customized. Check it out, there's a little kind of a palm tree and a sunset. I couldn't tell what it used to be. I have a suspicion this used to be a super chrome, kind of flashy and below that little, uh, <laughs> Whatever that blue is. So today I wanted to make another um, knockoff red line just to have on the shelf. So let me show you what I'm thinking about. I got a set of these and I wanted to make my own Joffrey van. I don't know if they call it Joffrey or Jeffrey. Geoff, Geoffrey. But this was a rare um, super van model that I believe, I didn't look it up. I'm just spitballing here. I believe this had something to do with like a grocery store line or something like that. As a promotional item, you could get these cool red line vans, typically just white. But um, I kind of want to make one of those. Or the other option for today is to make the Yamaha vintage super van, both red lines. This one might be even cooler, actually. Maybe I'll save the Joffrey for another day. Jeffrey, Joffrey. I've always kind of admired these Yamaha vans from afar, but you can't find them anymore. So we're going to just make one. Andy's not with us today. He's working on another video. I was on Kijiji yesterday and I found a, a Pickle Rick van Which was part of like a Hot Wheels lineup a while ago and man got to make one of those We'll just pull this apart Ooh, That spark I thought I saw a spark maybe not. I'm glad adding Andy to the channel was well received. Thank you for that I think it's gonna make things a lot better around here for me Both of us were kind of ex oil field workers that, uh, you know, we've been trying to get out of it for a long time, but once you get stuck in an industry, it's like, where do you go after that, right? You have no experience doing anything else. So no one will hire you for the wage you're used to. Do, 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 do. Jeez, you know, it's been so long. I don't remember holding the Hot Wheels like this, but now this is what feels comfortable. It's super dangerous, but I don't remember what I used to do. Did I do this before? Maybe that's what I did. Oh, geez, you know, it's been so long. Now you can see all the paint that was leaking in there before. So this thing was definitely a super chrome redline van. And I wish I had the technology to replate this chrome. It's different than zinc, right? This is like just, it's like a different kind of paint. And the painting system is similar to what they would put on, um, on like the wheels on this beetle. So this kind of coating is what was on these super vans. I looked into it already and it's about a, like about a $400 kit you need. But then you can chrome plate like wheels and stuff like this. Boy, these lights really show off the rainbow in this a lot better than the old ones. Look at this big chunk. Old school flashing. <laughs> Boop. Hell yeah, man, that's what we wanted right there. So now this should be perfectly. Do 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 do. Nice. Cool, so I'm gonna click this on some hemostats. We're gonna dip this in the old sure strip here. We'll get that cooking. Trying out one of these speed chucks on the old Dremel here. It doesn't seem too bad, actually. I was a little bit worried about it staying put, but so far so good. All right, let's have a look-see here. Stuff's so crazy, right? Just strips it just clean. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, we'll switch out that for this. Boop. And we'll just give that base a few minutes. Ah, yeah, this thing's done 100%. I'm going to go uh, give this a rinse with some hot water and a brass brush and uh, we'll come back. We'll start talking about maybe mixing some paint or something. I'll test out the paint oven today maybe on this video. That's pretty cool. I built it from, uh, this from stuff we had laying around. The size of this in the back here, jeez. The back of these are always a mess, these barn doors. Every single one of them looks like this. This thing's pretty nice already, I'm surprised. I think doing these uh, fake red lines. <laughs> I shouldn't call them fake red lines, I don't know. What, do you, what should you call it? This is a real red line, but we're just changing the model because we can't replicate the original without spending a whole bunch of money, maybe in the future. Or maybe Bare Metal will post a video on how to make proper super chromes one day. <laughs> That's kind of what we're all waiting for, I think. He's kind of the guy who like front lines all the, uh, all the hard stuff, like soldering, soldering on a die cast. Yeah, it's him. That's what his channel's for. Teach all of us other simps. Obviously, since we're painting this, we don't have to put a, a whole lot of care into the body because it's going to get clear coated. And that's going to hide a lot. It'll be nice and shiny anyways. Hell yeah, there we go. That's a nice looking little body. Let's see how this base is doing. Yeah, the headlights painted and everything. Bumper, what are those fog lights were painted? License plate. It would have been a good video to probably try to recreate what that person did, but I like the, the idea of having these like flossed up red lines on the shelf instead, you know? But they're so expensive, so we just make our own. Sweet! I'm gonna go clean this up, and I'm gonna clean uh, the, the van body here as well, the Merc. This little Merc body, we'll clean that, and uh, yeah. So that's ready to go to the spray booth. Give that a second. I was checking this out while I was cleaning it. He's them dripping all over the place here. Yo, bro, this grill's looking pretty chunky. We gotta clean up the top of this just a little bit. My file, man, I just put it away. And that is a lot better. Cool, nothing wrong with this. It can go to the side. I'll have a look at this interior. It's, it's muddy. It's got a little bit of paint on it, but it's not bad. That should clean right up. I'll bring that to the sink next time I make the trip. What do we do? Do we do this? We do that. It's kind of purple. Yeah, we've done the King Radio van already, so I'm kind of, let me... Okay, this one's restored. 30 bucks, bro. Bro, 36 bucks Canadian for this? Come on, man. Come on, man. I can see the lines on your decals, dude. I think brighter is always better. So we'll go with the light, kind of magenta looking one. And we'll just make it extra cool because it's mine. So this is called Sunset Magenta. And it's kind of the color we're looking for. This is probably showing up darker than it would be depending on how many coats I do. But we're going to spray this over silver. So it's going to be brighter than normal. I like it. I think we should go that route. Magenta candy. Maybe we'll just go a little bit darker. Do our decals. And it'll be pimp. It'll be extra pimp. We'll do that. We'll experiment a little bit. I've never put a Redline Shop decal on top of candy before so... Let's see how that goes. That'll be fun.
All right, I'm back from paint. Here's the van. I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but I uh, put some purple sparkles on it. I think it's gonna give it a little, a little something extra, you know? This is gonna look sweet, because it's about the right color. I got our decals cut out. I'm gonna take a little bit more off the old Yamaha here. Just take a smidgen off of this so it doesn't interfere. Got a little cup of water here with a piece of paper towel rolled up and I'm just gonna kind of dab this on. And we'll let it just kind of soak up for a second. Get this into position. Or if I could use a stick as a little stand. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we can see some sparkles on there. Nice, all right, let's see if this thing's ready to rock. Oh, we need a little brush. Moisten. Yes. Yes. Shouldn't have got rowdy at the end, it would have been perfect. Oh god. Oh god. Sweet baby Jesus. Man, that thing's vintage looking. Look at that. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, I wish I could make my own decals like this. That'd be so pimp. One day. Okay, let's try this out. I already don't like it. That's too late. I'm going too far. Very carefully cut some room for that signal light. <laughs> That's tough. All right, I'm gonna go let this dry for a little bit and then I'll do a clear coat. We'll put some new wheels on our base and uh, yeah, move ahead on this here project. It's like Excite Bike. Anyone remember that game? Yo, check that out. Pew, 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 pew. Blip, 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 blip. So these I'm gonna be able to just glue in there with a little drop of super glue. Just gonna center them up. I'm just gonna put one little dabber in the middle here because this is gonna be a display car. I don't plan on driving it to work or anything, so I'll just do one little dabber like that. I really enjoy remaking these old Hot Wheels, these vintage ones. That's probably one of my favorite things to do on this channel. We are back from clear coat. I don't know if you guys can handle this one. Do, 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 do. So what do you guys think of that? OMG, it's beautiful, right? I love making vans. That's my favorite. If you guys got any crusty vans you want to send me, I will accept them. Get a hold of me and I'll give you the P.O. Box info. Because I love working on vans. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. Have a good week, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Glee, 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 glee